I started using the Godot engine around four years ago. The engine has improved so much over this time and right now I think it is the best game engine for 2D indie games in the entire world. But four years ago I was, you know, a noob. I wasn't good at all and I've learned so much about the engine within the last four years so I thought this video could be really helpful to any Godot developer. Also, if you're just starting out with the Godot game engine, the last three tips are just for you. Tip number one is going to be to take inspiration from your everyday life when coming up with new game ideas. Having a good game idea is almost the number one most important thing when creating a brand new game. If the idea isn't great, then the game most likely won't turn out great either. And it doesn't matter what your game dev skills are. Some of the most unique and popular games came from things people have experienced in the real world and wanted to recreate a video game of it. Some examples are Minecraft, Call of Duty, and even games like Cooking Fever where you have to rush to get things done but you still can't mess anything up. Just remember that having a good idea is the heart of any game. Tip number two is going to be to do game jams. Now I know this may sound basic but they are crazy helpful when trying to improve all aspects of your game dev skill set. First of all, they make you actually finish games. Most people can never even finish their first game, so when you compete in game jams, it forces you to actually complete every single game. And that's a very, very good trait to have. They also allow you to make connections with other game developers who are trying to do the same thing that you want to do, which is make the next hit game. Game jams also allow you to compare your idea and games against other game developers who are given the same idea. So it kind of helps with creativity, which you know is number one, tip number one for this video about coming up with a great idea. This will help you come up with good ideas. But overall, game jams are going to be really helpful to improve your skill set, build your network of like-minded people, and become much more creative. Tip number three is my favorite tip. But before you hear about tip number three, I would love to ask if you could go down below, drop a like on this video, and hit that subscribe button to help you to push this video to more aspiring game developers. They can also learn to make their own go-to games as well. Tip number three is to keep it very, very simple in the beginning. This means when you first come up with that amazing idea for your next hit game, you don't want to just start out trying to create the perfect game from the very beginning. You want to start by getting all the basic mechanics that your game will have. You do not even want to add art until later in the process because during the beginning of the game, art is not even very necessary. So when you come up with that great game idea, you want to test to see if the game will be fun by creating all the basic mechanics and if the game isn't very fun with no art, then it won't be very fun with the art either. But after you've created the game and you decide if the game is fun with none of the art, then you're gonna wanna go back and you're gonna wanna add all the art and all the other small changes that you think the game may need to make it even better. And boom, your game will be trending. Tip four is to set small goals. Creating a game is very long, hard, time consuming, and tedious. So you need some sort of way to keep yourself focused and motivated along the journey. If you work on your game every day, just trying to get to the end point of that main goal, then you're most likely never gonna get to the end point of that goal. If you have small goals that you're working on every single day and you complete these small goals and eventually you'll complete enough of those small goals that you'll have completed the main goal and you would actually finish that amazing game I know you're working on. So for all the beginners coming into Goda, the next three tips are directly for you. And tip five is going to be to stay organized. I cannot even express how important this is. If you're not organized and you're, you're going to get lost in your own game, you're not even going to know how to add basic features to your own game because you'll be confused of what code is doing what or where that scene is saved to or how this signal is even connected to that script it will cause the biggest headache ever so i recommend doing things like having folders and down in the file system so you can understand where everything is saved to i also recommend adding comments to your script to you know explain to your future self what your code is actually doing Tip six is to watch YouTube tutorials and break down each line of code. This seems basic, but it's so helpful. This is the main way most people learn to create games. Godot even has this feature that breaks down the lines of code for you so you can understand exactly how everything works. If you go to your Godot script and you open up the search bar in the top right corner, it will explain to you how every single line of code works inside of the GD script. And it also tells you what node that code goes for. If you have any issues with any type of code, just look it up. For example, we don't know how the move and slide function works. We'll look up move and slide and now we can see exactly exactly how that function works and everything about that function, what it's used for, and every single different aspect that we need to know. Tip seven is to look over your old code and understand how it works. Let's say you listen to tip six and you watch YouTube tutorials and you break down each line of code as you're writing. That's very good. But I also recommend going back days later, looking over that code and explaining to yourself in your head how it works. Then if you want to take it another step farther, you can try and recode it by yourself without the help of the YouTube tutorial. Then you'll really understand exactly how that code works. Do do this with many many tutorials and you will become a godot genius thank you so much for watching the tips in this video are the seven best tips that i would have loved to known four years ago when i was just getting into game development so i really hope they helped you out 
Remember, if you like this video or you know you thought it was half decent, then it would mean the world to me if you could go subscribe to the channel and drop a like to help me push Godot videos like this and many other Godot tutorials that I create to other aspiring game developers. But I hope to see you next time. Stay safe and have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you.